Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Ice Lakes. And as promised, I am going to be going on an expedition to find rainbow trout. Now, guys, I will tell you honestly, the rainbow trout are not easy to catch. One of the reasons they're not easy to catch is because they seem to cohabitate with many other species. So your odds of catching other species alongside them are pretty darn high. But even if we just get a couple, I can kind of show you some of the best places to look for them. Now, I'm going to go back to Pike River because I did manage to catch a few there while I was there. And we're going to go ahead and set this up for morning. And we're going to do, I think we're going to go ahead and do spring this time. It seems to usually enhance the ability to catch them a little bit more. And since this is not a option under here, you can do only trout, but the problem with that is trout also counts salmon and brown trout and brook trout. So if you're looking for that particular species, you're, they're, they're going to basically catch salmon and beat you out on weight. If it was total number, that might be different. But because of that, we're going to go with just free fishing so you can just kind of see where they are. And... Let's go ahead and let me show you here real quick on this map. Now, the thing with these guys is you really need to focus on the streams. And in the middle of the, you know, about middle deep, not real, real shallow, but middle deep water. And what I try to do is I try to follow along the streams. And any areas where it opens up a little bit, that's where I try to, to test it out the most. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get this started. And as normal, we are back here in our starting gate. And you don't have to worry about the competition. So you can kind of take your time and just play around. You may get the rainbows. You may not. But we'll go ahead and get this started, guys. I think I'm going to head. Uh, I haven't really decided yet. All right, let's head on out here, guys. Now we're gonna head due north. We're gonna there's a river up the top. I don't know if you can see a little map over to the to the right, but that's where we're headed. We're gonna go right to the mouth of it. Now, when I was fishing for a pike last time, I caught one right there. So I want to give that location another shot here. It's been very good to me. All right. Set this thing down a little to the deep side. Yeah, they're really about mid-range as far as depth goes. So that's probably why this is a pretty good spot. Now we are going to be trying the Mormishka first. Now the only Mormishka I have that might catch them is the... Uh, probably the Red Devil because it's the most generic... I don't have one that's specific for ring road trout yet. I haven't been able to buy it. I've been buying mostly a lot of balance lures lately. And I'm also going to use this trout gem. So hopefully I can attract them with that and these green worms. So other than the uh, red mormishka itself, the other two things are very attractive to rainbow trout. So we'll see if this little guy goes for it. All right, that was pretty fast, but this thing's little, whatever it is. It's a little roach. And you got a little bit of the worm, but it's still good. It's still good. You don't even really need the worm. It just helps attract, attract it a little bit better. There we go again. Something tells me it's another roach. Yep. Yeah, roaches aren't usually that big. 
Yep, I gotta get a new worm. Well, shoot. There we go. Okay, I got it. It wasn't the right button, but I uh, got got to look excited. All right, guys, I have been pulling roach after roach out of here, and I think I've got yet another one. Wow, this is like Roach City. Thank goodness it's not the buggy kind. Come on, guys. I tried changing the depth, and I'm still getting them. I don't mind getting the roach. I mean, granted, they're still pretty cool. Okay, this is a little bit bigger. This is a little bit bigger. And it's a perch. Not quite a pound. Yeah, I think we're going to switch us to something, one of these balance lures. Uh, not the fisherman's friend. No. Probably going to end up going with the Caribbean blue. Yeah. Caribbean blue's got rainbow trout as first on the list of best fours. A little bit more lure in there. Come on, guys. We know you're down there. Come on. There we go. I will say the rainbow trout do tend to go for the side to side motion more so than the up and down. There he is. 1.25 pound rainbow trout. Finally. After all that. Now that's usually the way it goes, guys. When you're catching rainbow trout, usually what's going to happen is you're going to catch a whole bunch of things in between. They just don't... I've never really found like a spot where I just pull one up right after another. So... There we got something. It might be another rainbow. It's fighting awful hard, though. I'm thinking it might be a pike, actually. Yep. I can always tell, just by the way they fight. And plus, I hadn't gotten one out of this hole yet. Alright, let's keep trying the side by side. Okay, it's been several minutes, and I've got nothing, so I think this hole's kind of fished out for now. So I'm thinking about moving upstream a little bit here. Guess I just keep hoping. And one thing I noticed, too, when I fished before, the rainbows, a lot of times if you stop and let it sit there, that's when they'll bite. All right, let's head upstream. We're going to go up just a little bit. Try to find some place where it opens up a little bit. Right up here. It opens up just a tad. All right, let's see what we can see here. Just stick with that and put some lure in. I've already caught one off the Caribbean blue. Okay, fish, come on. We've been here a little bit. All right, well, it's, it's tiny. It's tiny. Perch. Found. Little bitty perch.
Yeah, I've been getting a lot of perch. I've tried this winter. I've tried it autumn. I'm just getting perch, 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 perch. <laughs> I tell you. Now, if this was a perch contest, I wouldn't catch one. Alright, we've got something... Another perch. Okay, he's a half pound. I think this is going to be perch city. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and move here, guys. I have been up and down this stream... And I just cannot find another rainbow except at that mouth. Now this area here opens up a little bit. I have caught one here before. So we're going to give this a try. Strange thing is there's a lot of whitefish in this particular hole here. So don't be surprised if you get whitefish when you fish this hole. Do not be surprised at all. There we go. Come on. And it is another elusive rainbow trout. Awesome. The elusive rainbow trout. Yeah, they're pretty tough to find, guys. They really are. I don't know what the deal is. I actually had this game for like six months before I caught my first one. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Of course, I wasn't really fishing for them, but they're not easy to catch or find. Alright, I think... I don't know, this might be a pike, guys. It's either a pike or a big whitefish. No, it's a perch. Oh, he's a hell of a fighter. Damn. Hell of a fighter. Alright. Come on, another rainbow, another rainbow. Alright. Okay, I'm thinking this might be a whitefish. He's kind of heavy, but he's not fighting hard. hard. Yep. Whitefish aren't big, big fighters. They're just kind of lead weights, so to speak. Alright, keep this side-to-side -side motion up. We know the rainbow's down there, but they are tough to get. I think we got us another white fit. No, I don't know. He's fighting pretty hard. Might be a pike. Yeah, it's a little pike. Okay, I'll give it that. <laughs> It's a little pike. It's not even a pound. Less than half a kilogram. Less than a third a kilogram. That's a little pike. Well, so far it's four different species. <laughs> All out of one hole. See if we get a fifth. I'm thinking this is a whitefish, though. So he's just kind of like a lead weight. Yep. All right, guys. 
Let's keep at this. Alright guys, we might be at the end of this hole too. No, nope, not yet. Something's still down there. See how it had did that? That's could be a good sign. No, just a really big whitefish. Damn it. <laughs> not that getting whitefish is a bad thing, it's just that it's not really what I wanted to get. Yeah, this is actually a pretty good hole, though. If you just want to come up here and... I like to kind of just walk up and down the uh, the streams and fish in the different holes and see what I can get. Try to see if I can't get something else interested. I know there's got to be something else down there. I don't know. There was a pretty big lull before that last whitefish, so I'm kind of thinking that might be it. Yeah. I think we're done here. I think we're just about done. Nope. Come on. Okay. I guess it's just not going to bite. Let's go ahead and move downstream a little bit more. Anyway, I'll bring you back if we have any more luck. Alright guys, I've been fishing for quite a while and I've caught a lot of different species, but I didn't get any more rainbows. So, it's getting a little late guys. I'm going to go ahead and head back to the fishmonger and sell these fish. And get a little cash. And then we'll end this. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. 148 cash. Please be sure to share, comment, like, subscribe. And always remember, guys, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you in the next episode. So until then, I will see you later. Bye-bye.